Hi everyone, welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today in this video, we are diving into the ultimate guide to setting up your 4K security camera system. And we'll cover everything from why 4K matters, choosing the right system, and a step-by-step -step installation process. Also, if you are looking to enhance your security setup or need help choosing the right camera system, we've got a special offer just for you. Our expert will help you design the perfect security solution that tailored to your needs at no cost. So don't miss out on this opportunity to get professional advice. First, let's take a moment to appreciate the stunning clarity of 4K images. Now look at how detailed and vibrant everything appears. And this level of clarity is crucial for outdoor use, where identifying faces, license plates, and other details can make all the difference. Now, let's compare 4K footage with 1080p and notice the difference in detail and sharpness. While 1080p is still good, 4K takes it a whole new level and providing four times the resolution of 1080p. And this means clearer images, better zoom capability, and overall superior security coverage. Choosing the right system is the next step. Should you go wire or wireless? Now, wire systems tend to be more reliable and stable, especially for 4K video, while wireless systems offer easier installation and flexibility. But we do prefer the wire system. And just to let you know, both IP cameras and analog cameras have 4K models available, and analog cameras might surprise you with their high-resolution options, so don't count them out. Now let's gather all the equipment that you may need. Of course, we'll need the 4K cameras. Today we have the Bullet, Doom Shape, and PDZ camera, and also an NVR or a DVR. High capacity hard drive, we prefer 4TB or more. And also high quality Ethernet cables like Cat5e or Cat6. Power adapters or a PoE switch. Of course, a smartphone with our dedicated application for remote access. So let's break down all the equipments and first talk about the different types of cameras. Now here we have the bullet camera. They're great for long distance viewing and outdoor use. And they're typically mounted on walls. And the doom shaped camera offer a more discreet appearance and they're ideal for ceilings and indoor usage. And the PTZ camera provide the most flexibility with pen, till and zoom functions, which is perfect for a larger areas. And also, the key feature to consider when choosing the types of camera, including the night vision for low light conditions, human detection for smart alerts, and motorized zoom lenses for precise focus adjustment. And speaking of lenses, let's talk about how an adjustable lens camera can get the best pixel density. Now, pixel density refers to the number of pixels contained within a unit area of an image or display, and usually measure in pixel per inch (PPI). And higher pixel density means more pixels are packed into the same space, resulting in sharper and more detailed images. And this is crucial for security cameras, as higher pixel density allows for clearer and more precise footage, making it easier to identify faces, license plate, and other crucial detail. And to achieve optimal pixel density, the camera's focus must be adjusted correctly, ensuring that the image capture is as clear and detailed as possible. And manually adjustable lenses are particularly beneficial in this regard, as they allow users to fine-tune the focus to match the specific surveillance needs and distances evolved. 
So next, let's discuss recording options. The NVR's network video recorders store your footage, and they offer a larger storage capacity and support high-resolution recording. Here's a quick look at installing a high-capacity hard drive. So installing a hard drive is straightforward. Just simply open up our NVR, slot it in, plug in the cables, and we're basically done. Put it back inside the NVR and close it and secure it with the screws. So now on to the installation process. As you can see, we have a big screen monitor to display the video footage. So first, let's mount our bullet camera. You can mount your camera on a wall, on a ceiling, or on a pole. Today, we are going to mount this camera on the demonstration board. Let's take our screwdrivers and screw. Position your camera. Plug in the screw here. And let's twist it. Normally, we'll need four of them, but today I'm going to just plug in two of them for faster installation. And then we can adjust our camera's angle to ensure a clear line of sight. And for cable, we should use the high-quality Ethernet cable like Cat5e or Cat6. Today, we're using a Cat5e Ethernet cable. Let's plug it into our bullet camera. Oops. And plug it into our WebSmart PoE switch. Now, if you're using PoE cameras that's power over Ethernet camera, make sure your NVR or switch support PoE, and you can transmit both power and data through a single Ethernet cable and simplify the installation process. And remember, PoE switch can provide more power than a PoE NVR, so you can plan accordingly. And for non-PoE cameras, you should position the power adapter close to the cameras or use outdoor rated extension cord. So next, we are going to use another Ethernet cables to connect our WebSmart PoE switch to our NVR and a router. So I'm going to plug in two of them. One for our NVR, the network video recorder, and the other one for our router, so we can access the internet and have remote access to our video footage. So this is our completed setup. And let's look at the monitor. We already have the image display on the monitor. However, it's very blurry because this is a manually adjustable lens, so let's adjust the focus here. Just open up. Get your hands inside and let's adjust. You can zoom in or zoom out and then adjust the focus. Here we go. So now we get a very clear video footage. So now we're going to configure your camera settings, such as the resolution, frame rate, and human detection zone. So first, you need a mouse to plug it into the NVR. And then we can get started. So now we can see the mouse, just right click it. Go to the main menu. This is the playback. You can go through the playback and select the channels, the date, and the time that you want. Also, we have the smart search. So you can just search for human detection or a car detection. So let's go back out 
and go to the record configuration. Now, whether you want continuous motion trigger or schedule, you can set it based on your need. By hitting this one, this is the regular mode, and this is the detection mode, it will also give you an alarm if you check this one. You can change the time and the date that you want, and select the channel through here. So go out, right click it again, go to the IPC, this is where you set all the image setting. We Here we have all the brightness, and also the compression, the resolution. Now you can see this is a 4K resolution. You can change the frame rates through here. So let's hit OK. Now I'm going to turn on the human detection feature. Just go to the main menu, go to alarm. Here we have the intelligent alert. Now by clicking enable, we are turning on our detection mode. Now this is the channel 10, so just go to alarm, intelligent alert, go to channel 10. We already check enable, here we have the human detection and the face detection. And by checking this, it will send your alarm through your mobile device and also have alarm sound. And we already set the sensitivity to high. We don't have to put it on the highest. High will just do fine. And also you can select whether giving you an email or taking a snapshot. Just hit OK. And also this is our trace, the frame. Make sure that we have it on, hit OK. Now I'm going to walk under the camera. And instantly you can see a frame is chasing me wherever I go because the human detection mode is already on. And for remote assets, just download our dedicated Green Backyard application and you can follow the setup instruction. This allows you to monitor your property from anywhere. I already connected to it. So now we can see the same image on my mobile device and the big screen monitor. But installing a 4K security camera system does come with its challenges. Higher bandwidth requirements, it means you might need a dedicated network for your cameras or upgrade to a higher speed internet. And for increased storage need, you can invest in high capacity hard drives and consider using H.265 compression to reduce the file sizes without compromising video quality. So there you have it, the ultimate guide to setting up your 4K security camera system. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech insights. Also hit the bell icon for notification. And for more camera options and accessories, you can visit our website at www fastcabling.com and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.